they don't even look like they've been hit. They've been in here for a month. Well, dang, this is a very familiar and wrecked. All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting for golf clubs, always looking for stuff that we could use ourselves, sell online, or just have fun trying out and then donate back at the end, but never know what you're gonna find though, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Getting started off at the super fancy Goodwill. Well, dang, this is a very familiar and recognizable club. We got a TaylorMade Aero Burner, 9.5. It is $25, but definitely worth it. Got the uh, stock shaft and stock grip. See if there's anything to go along with those. Usually if you find one, there's uh, and I got a power belt grand slam, got some royal grips. What do you got? Some more around the corner. Too. Oh, really? Yeah. Whoop. We got a, I think this is, oh no, Walter Hagen's. What do you got over here? Maybe the rest of them. Are those? Oh, the orange shaft label got me excited. I thought those were uh, the uh, 10 size shafts. This is a USD Pro Force uh, shaft back here. Well, this is like a perfect little treasure hunt. Another one of the uh, grand slams. Let's see what the uh, USD Pro Force one is. Can you see it on the other side? No. Oh. I feel like I'm gonna break something, but I kind of am okay with it. that. What is that? Oh, I can't even tell. I can't even <laughs> this is for how easy it was to find the uh, arrow burner. I have no idea. What is it? Oh, it's a uh, Zevo. Oh, Got a couple more graphite shafts. Got a uh, tour wrap grip. Got a big Bertha knockoff. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. <laughs> oh, we're like, oh, there's gonna be more with it. Uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think, she, yeah, treasure hunt is on crutches for sure. My back's about to uh, require some uh, equivalent. Operation. Yeah, some opera. Dang, that was a uh, good one. But, uh, <laughs> well, after all of that kind of contortion. We got what we, what we got. We, yeah, we could have just stopped with that. Oh, check these out. Some Adidas Stan Smith Selly Monsters Ink Edition. Those are, Pretty amazing. it's like an inside out uh, slipper. Right? Those things are amazing. Also, check this out. A Tokyo 2020 Nike Hyper Shoe. Yeah. Nike Golf, that's a awesome. big for me, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah, $15. I don't know if I can pull those off though. Comment below. my size. Yeah, comment below if I'm uh, missing out and not getting these. They are $80 though. <laughs> Check these things out, Mitsu, I can never pronounce that. We found these before, but never this uh, model. Almost looks like the old school Casco clubs, if you guys remember that. It's got like a gold plate and a gold face. There's two of them, they're yeah. $8.99 a piece. Check this thing out though. It's got Whoa. like forward, what is that? Forward set, not offset. Onset? Onset, there you go. <laughs> Wordsmith right here. But uh, those are $8.99 a piece. We also have some uh, Ping, uh, I think these are the Ping Karstens. Ping Karsten 3, is that one as well? Ping yeah, Karsten so. 3, 4 wood and 5 wood. Man, they got a bunch of uh, interesting stuff mm -hmm. in here. A, a Wilson 4 wood, what do you got over there? I don't know. There you go, those are the clubs that we love to uh, find. <laughs> got a Walker Cup by uh, Wilson. I think all of these are uh, laminate. None of them are a persimmon, no. or else we'd be in the red zone. Ready for a... Give you a slap. <laughs> there slap you go. <laughs> it's not a knee slapper. <laughs> You serious? It looks like we got a golf pride to a wrap grip. Usually a good sign if someone's willing to replace the grip. Oh, it's on a uh, Adam Shaft. Looks like it's a whole bundle though. A bunch of uh, mismatched stuff. Let's see what it actually is though. Adam's Idea 5 Iron. We actually did a whole video on these with my uh, dad. He was playing some super unforgiving clubs and then he switched to those. I think we called it These Golf Clubs Saved My Dad's Golf Game or oh, something. Yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, that was a uh, fun video. We also got like a beginner set of uh, Wilson Woods over here. Got some Ram. Oh, this is kind of cool. A uh, laminate ram golden girl we actually found a full set of uh these and the uh, ram tour or the uh, tom watson tour grind uh yeah. those things were awesome i'm tom watson and i've been playing ram since 1976 whether you play a lot or play a little you should, you should always, always play, play to, to win. win that's why i play the golden ram tour grind the pro system and this is laser the target seeking system both, both are frequency, frequency matched to a player, player swing. swing golden ram is also the ball i play and i think it's unbeatable Laser, I think, is just as unbeatable, and it's uncuttable. So whether you play a lot or play a little, play to win with RAM. Got a chipper in here. Well, I don't think Ashley has this one for the world's largest chipper collection, but okay. it's in a bundle. I don't think it's uh, worth it. But this is kind of cool. I think this is a Bennington bag. They usually had the uh, basketball stuff on there. What is this right here? What kind of bag is question. that? Whoa. 
kind of looks like the Wait, Wilson profile. There. Yeah, so I think it goes to that uh, Wilson set. Got the uh, oh, whole Bennington. kit and caboodle right there. Oh yeah, it is a Bennington uh, bag. But uh, Ashley is looking super official with this. We can sneak into Disney. There you go. Security, I'm official. Security! No golf clothes worth picking up, but check this out. An aisle worth polo right here, only $6.99. Definitely going to pick that up. And Ashley found a treasure trove of these Orlando City shirts. I don't think someone's a fan anymore. Oh yeah. But That's this. All... Oh man. <laughs> Mexico jersey. This reminds me of like the Charlie Brown shirt. The Charlie Brown Mexico <laughs> national team. There you sick. go. That is pretty sweet. That's my size. Yeah. I don't know if I could pull that off. It's got a bunch of poles on there too. Pull Lots of poles, but uh, definitely going to get the uh, Iowa shirt. Super yeah. exclusive uh, golf course here in Orlando. Well, this place is already a success. Even if they don't have any golf clothes, we got a uh, KFC golf shirt and we got a uh, Valspar hat right here. Nike Valspar hat. This is a, uh, I think that's like three weeks away from now. How much is that? So. $2.99, definitely uh, worth picking up. See what they got in terms of the golf clubs over here. Well, they actually have a few. This place usually doesn't have very many. But we got a, this thing is goofy looking, a Par Right Power Wood. Almost looks like a chipper. It is a nine something. Oh, wow. That is so, check that out. It's got, it's almost like a, a Jeep Woody or something like that. It's got like a weird wood insert as an alignment aid. Never seen that uh, before. Got a, a couple of other uh, interesting ones over here. Got a full set of these uh, McGregor Heritage Tours. Got a Northwestern putter. Uh, looks like we got, oh man, this thing is uh, super rusted out over here. Oh, it's got a, a Peritone shaft. Oh, nice. Oh, this might actually be, no, this is actually uh, wood. That's like a leather. Uh, print too. no, I think this is a uh, Peritone. You can kind of. I can't really tell. Yeah, because it's like. Uh, is that? Yeah, Peritone is basically when steel shafts first came out, they would uh, make them look like wood because people didn't think that steel shafts would uh, be good. It's kind of funny oh, now that. Time has <laughs> yeah, times have uh, changed. This is a. Uh, oh, I think this is a John Burke, handcrafted. This would be fun just to throw in a uh, Coke bath and see what it actually is. Yeah. The clubs in here are only like a dollar. Look at the like original oh, leather grip. Oh yeah, the grip original too. grab. Grab. <laughs> original grip. That was cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, I think this is wood because is that metal? Oh, this is nice. the most fascinating thing in life. <laughs> gotta, I gotta pick it up regardless. But KSC thing, I think we'll pass on. But the uh, Valspar hat. The, this is. I think you could add this to the chipper collection. It gets an honorary uh, mention. It's close enough. It yeah, counts. it counts. Just like the word grap. <laughs> Grap it is. <laughs> Grap it is. Well, a couple of things I never thought I would see in Goodwill. If you thought Grap was weird, check out this. A Christian Dior robe. For how much is this? $8.99. It's an amazing colorway. And yeah. speaking of this colorway, check this out. We've got an Orlando Magic hockey sweater. I didn't know that I needed that, but now oh, I didn't yeah, know. I need that in my life so bad. But check this out. I think Ashley might I have me beat. Have you beat. It's a football golf shirt, Columbia. This is just a mixture of sports that I never <laughs> thought that we were going <laughs> to. I need. Imagine rolling up to the course with that. I, you can you imagine it because it's yeah, you have the world's largest uh, soccer uh, jersey collection. Now no, you can actually bring it out onto the course. It's amazing. It's amazing. Almost as amazing this. I think we're gonna pass on the Christian Dior. It's actually a really terrible yeah, fabric for I how high. You think it'd be like silk or something yeah. luxurious. This is like, I don't even know how to describe They're it. Like it's very. It's like um, sheet sets. Yeah, from like the 1990s kids' yeah, yeah. sheet sets. The scratch the uh, living mm -hmm. heck out of you. But, well, interesting to say the least. <laughs> Well, not a ton of golf clubs in here. Usually that whole rack is uh, full of uh, golf clubs, but this place is treacherous. Usually there's- it's like literally been saws Yeah, there here. have been like a chainsaws in here, but let's see what we got. We got it. What is this thing right here? A, I can't even read that. Susie Maxwell? Susie Maxwell. This font is just uh, super weird. We got an yeah. equity pitching wedge. That used to be the uh, house brand of uh, Sports Authority. Got some Wilson HT2000s that I have uh, never seen before with yeah. a matching font. Oh, we got a uh, tailor-made LCG. That's uh, pretty cool. We got a uh, power built uh, five wood. Oh, <laughs> it's like the uh, Brooks Kutka hair treatment to a <laughs> big Bertha Steel Hemp Plus, man. That is a uh, very... You go with like black or something. Yeah, there. usually you like strip the paint on the... Uh, <laughs> interesting <laughs> Interesting approach. to uh, say the least. Well, I see if I can manage to uh, not die out of success. here and <laughs> success. <laughs> some by the uh, fishing poles. Usually they're over there. Oh, 
All right, we got a set of uh, Mizuno MP5 5 iron all the way down to the pitching wedge. They don't even look like they've been hit. They've been in here for a month. They're four hundred dollars. Usually go for about six hundred. They've got uh, uh, Nippon shafts in there, but let's. I think we can uh, do a little bit better. Let's yeah. All right, folks, what a pawn shop find if you ask me. These are some of the sexiest golf clubs that I have ever seen. I was literally speechless yeah. when we uh, found them. We ended up doing a bit of negotiating, got them for $350, but uh, even besides the point, I am just super excited to uh, hit these. We are out at the uh, range, and it is absolutely packed, so this is going to be uh, very interesting, but uh, we got some bizarre clubs to try out. Hopefully, Under pressure. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves too much. <laughs> All right, getting things started off with the arrow burner. Probably gonna have to work myself up to the uh, blades, but let's see if this uh, modern classic is just as good as I remember. <laughs> it's almost through the uh, drive ridge. This thing's in really good condition given its, uh, well, its age and the uh, colorway. Yeah, the Usually paint. gets chipped up the uh, white ones, but uh, what do you want to go with that next? Ooh. Let's go with the uh, rusty guy. There this you go. Thing. Also, rusty, just, rusty. Yeah, just look at these things. They are unbelievably beautiful. Everybody's waiting for you to say it. Stunning. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that thing felt so good. <laughs> That's such a cool sound. <laughs> All right, next up with the oldie, the uh, Jeep Woody 9 wood. This thing uh, <laughs> certainly looks interesting to say the least. Oh, that is so high. All right, that's an honorary tripper. Yeah, that shot, uh, Tracer, is going to be hilarious. We're going to be in the air for a, a million years. What do you want to get started with? The 7 iron on these guys? Oh, yeah. Classic. There you go. We'll uh, try a, a long iron. I don't know if I still got the game to hit a long iron like this, though. playing the mp32s for a while and these <sighs> well, let's see if i can hit the f5 arm before i give my final yeah. uh, one shot review basically oh my goodness these things are so nice all right a high draw with the five iron and these things are going straight in the bag Well, that's gonna do it for us. Hope you guys did like this video. If you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next. That time. is the voice. These things are unbelievable. Replacing the MP32s, which I've been looking for for a ton of time. These things are just stunning. You wanna try one? Oh, I'm nervous. You always hit blades good, though. Don't be nervous. Yes, Ashley with the Mizuno MP5s. Hit the like button and subscribe. Just swing as hard as you can, and you should be good. Should is <laughs> Oh, there you go. Champion. Champion. Hope you guys did like this video. If you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next, we'll see you next time. time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.